and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Brie, and I am so glad that you are here. In through my wood and metal stash for inspiration, I decided today I was going to take on the ever popular tin can projects that are going around YouTube right now. I've got a big stash of glass and also a big stash of tin cans that I need to get through. I'm starting by cleaning the cans up. I've got some lemon oil here. I will link that down in my Amazon shop below for you. It does really well at taking all of that old sticky off. Then using my drill, I drilled a hole in each side of the tin can and I will take the bottom off of each of these cans. I did four in total for this first project. Now, not all of these cans are made the same. I was able to get the bottom off of this one with a traditional can opener, but on the other three, it didn't work. So very carefully taking a sharp knife, I cut the bottom off the other three. Be super careful when working with these tin cans, y'all. They are very sharp. I should have been wearing my gloves at this point, but I did end up putting them on eventually. I used my vice grip to pinch the ends of them closed. If you don't have a vice grip, you can also use a rubber mallet and tap the end of them pinched shut. Using the pre-drilled hole, I am now just screwing these on to a fence picket with my drill. I'm making an adorable little herb sitter for my porch. Of course, I wanted to add a special touch to this. So I grabbed out some belts. I found one that was industrial looking and a little tattered. I am using my Everett hot glue gun, which I do have linked down below for you and gluing this belt onto the front. I also grabbed some rusty nails and I'm just tapping it into the fence post, making it look like the belt is what's holding on the little tin pocket. Now I do have them screwed on to keep them more secure but I love that industrial touch that the belt adds. DIY White Swan, I am hand painting the word herbs and 25 cents onto this little piece of fence post. I thought it was a nice handmade touch. I ran some 120 grit sandpaper over it and sealed it up with clear wax when I was done. I tapped it on with a rusty nail onto the top of this fence post, and here is a look at the final project. I am in love with this little herb post. What do you guys think? Are you going to try to make one of these at home for yourself as well? I made two today, so I will have one listed up on my site, and I'll have one for my front porch. When it is nicer outside, I will fill my little tin cans with soil and plant herbs in it. For now, I just stuck some pretty herbs in for pictures, but I am loving this look. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. And you'll be able to find all the paint, products, and today's flips over on my website, upcycledbybree.com. But I will also be sure to link all of that down in the description box below for you. For project number two, I grabbed these spindles that I already had nailed to these little square pieces of wood out in the garage. I had started a project and never finished it. I figured I would get them used up. I grabbed a hammer and went to town, banging up the bottom of these bases just to give them a more aged industrial look. And then I hit them with a little bit of 120 sandpaper just to smooth out any splinters. I'm taking DIY Old and Gray to give them a barnwood aged patina. 
Old and Gray is a multi-use product. You can use it as a top coat, a transfer gel, but it's also a self-sealing stain. VOC free and all natural, safe to use indoors with no fumes. So I'm just applying it to all of this raw wood here at the bottom. And as that dries, I'm taking the tin cans outside, spraying them with oven cleaner to give them a roughed up look. I'll be using a DIY tarnished pearl on the spindles. I love this color. It is a grayish color, but it's almost like pearlescent, like a pearl. So it does take a couple of coats of this color to get full coverage. I went ahead and used my Klingon F40, which is one of my very favorite brushes, to apply the paint. Here it is after one coat. You can see I definitely needed two to get coverage. So I applied a second coat and as that dried, drilled holes down in the bottom of my cans. Once my paint was dry, I did a little bit of distressing and I will seal it up with clear wax. Notice as I apply the wax, it almost becomes translucent again, but don't worry, this is the wax freak out factor. As it dries, it will even back out. Using DIY decrepit dust for an even more aged effect. This is a powder that you can apply over a top coat or a wax, and it is amazing. I just tap it into the little creases here and use my little chip brush to smooth it out. It is almost like a white wax effect without having to buy a whole nother wax. I apply it along all of the edges and it really helps blend these two pieces together. all painted and waxed they look like they belong together i did a pilot hole in the top of the spindle i did a hole down through my tin can applied a little bit of wood glue and now i am just screwing my can onto my base i love the way these came out i'm thinking in the spring putting a glass jar inside and a fresh bouquet of flowers how beautiful would that be i am going to sell these separately over on my site in case you were interested in just one but how pretty would each of these be on either side of a mantle for spring leave me a comment below what do you think about this project This last project is a quick one. I had these old, authentically rusty cans from an estate sale cleanup. I'm putting a hole in each side and using some random wire pieces and these wooden pieces that came off of a chair I took apart. I am just using some pliers and manipulating that wire, bending it around and down into the holes of this wooden piece, creating a faux handle. I wanted these to look like grandpa went out to the garage and threw together a bucket he needed in the spring to carry around gardening tools or painting supplies. And I just love the simplicity of this project and the way it came out. This one is included with the greenery over on my site. And this one has a thinner wire that hangs down to the side. I have staged it up with some salvage wood that is also available in my salvaged wood and metal collection. Such a simple project, but just such a tiny Piece. I always have so much fun doing these videos. Again, be sure to subscribe if you haven't, hit that bell to all so you don't miss any new videos, and please share this video out with a friend. That's going to help this channel grow and help me bring you more amazing content. Until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye, friends. If you are curious about this shirt, I am going to be doing a clothing haul over on my second channel, my lifestyle channel. If you didn't know I had that, I'm going to link it right up here in the corner for you. And I will also link it down below. I found some really cute things online. They sent them to me. I tried them on and I will have a review coming up this week. Channel. My name is Bree. I'm the owner and artist of Upcycled by Bree, and I am pointing at the wrong time. <laughs>